This is the Alistair 2 practice test. This is question number 22. Um, the question says that we have a figure that represents a tower with a height of 100 feet. It's secured at the ground uh, D feet from the base, so here. And it makes an angle from the base of the tower uh, by a wire. that. Or, so the angle is uh, with the ground from the top down, uh, angle alpha. Which function can be used to find the distance between the base of the tower and the point at which the wire is attached to the ground? Well, you know it's going to be something with sine, cosine, cotangent, and tangent. So what if we just, I don't know, um, hmm, looked at the uh, formulas page in case you forgot what this looks like? <clears throat> so I'm going to go back into the formulas pages, which are there for a reason, by the way, and look at the trigonometric functions which are given to you. How convenient. Now I have the opposite and the adjacent. So I'm going to look for opposite adjacent. I have opposite and adjacent being y and x. So my only choices really are tangent and cotangent. But I'm trying to get it, so I'm trying to orchestrate for myself a situation where the uh, tangent or cotangent gets multiplied together. So let's set them both up and then it's a nice easy um, look-see from there. Assuming I can find some paper to write on. So the first setup, I'd have opposite over adjacent, which is uh, tangent. So in this case, tangent of the angle is equal to 100 over d. Now if I did this, I'd multiply to solve both sides by d to get rid of that d in the denominator. And I'd end up with this. But that's not what I'm trying to get to happen. I'm trying to get one that looks like this, where d is by itself. In order to do that, I'd have to divide by this, but these don't have any division in them. So let's just look at cotangent. I'm guessing it's not tangent, by the way. Now the cotangent of the angle is going to be equal to that d over 100. From here, I just solve it like an equation. What do I do to get rid of divide by 100? I multiply by 100. So in this case, d is equal to 100 times the cotangent of the angle. And I drew a really bad alpha there. And do I have that? Yep, there it is, 100 cotangent of the angle. So look at the trigonometric formulas, find the one that matches and gives you the answer, and just work them both out if there's a question about which one. If it's a sine uh, cosecant versus uh, cosine secant thing, just work them both out until you get the variable by itself and then you're in good shape.